Hello and welcome back to another episode. So in this episode I'm going to be working on the fuselage here which is all these parts you see right here. First I gave them a shot of Tamiya gray primer. First thing I'm going to do is some black wash in all the panel lines of the main fuselage body parts. And you can see here you know, all the panel lines highlighted in black. So now I've given the whole thing a shot of AS20 Tamiya Insignia White. And the panel lines, you can see here, they pop and they stand out really well. They're easily visible and they really catch the eye. Here we have all the pieces comprising the um, fuselage, the cockpit, midsection, the sides that go on the sides of the fuselage, the front top nose of the fuselage. These pieces here uh, were molded in red because the model comes pre-painted, which we all know is not that great. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint these pieces red myself with the red color that I would like to use. And I have my um, photograph here of the uh, studio model of Red 5. And you can see the red stripes on the side. You can also see the red markings on the wings here. And I'll be using these photos as references for painting my model. So the first thing I've done is I've taped off a couple sections on the bottom and on the upper portion that needed to be painted red. And I'm going to be using some white liquid mask to create the markings, the chipping that you see here in the studio model of the Red 5. And I'm going to try to do mine as accurately as I can to match what was seen on the actual filming model. So I've got one of my side pieces here and I just dipped a toothpick in the liquid mask and I'm just going to be marking it up to as closely possible match the markings on the studio model. And then I'm going to paint all my red with just to me a flat red XF7 and I'm going to go ahead and start doing that here with an airbrush. Okay, so I've got all my pieces painted red. Here we have the uh, cockpit canopy pieces. And you can see my reference photo. It's kind of a bluish gray color that was used on the filming miniature. So I'm going to use some Tamiya XF19 Sky Gray mixed with a dab of X14 Sky Blue. And I'm going to mix my own blue gray that I'm going to paint my cockpit canopy with. As with the red pieces, I'm going to mark up with my liquid latex, but I'm using the sponge technique since it's a lot smaller part here. And you can see all the little chipping liquid latex pieces. And then I'm going to continue on with airbrushing my blue-gray. And you can see it's all done here. And the last two pieces here were modeled in yellow. They go on the top front section of the fuselage. And again, I've um, used my liquid latex with the sponge technique to have the chipping areas here. And I'm just going to use, I have Vallejo flat yellow, and I'm going to be using that to paint these pieces yellow. Alright, so I'm going to remove my tape from the uh, red pieces here. And you can see I've got all my colored pieces painted. At this point I'm going to go through and just start rubbing away the liquid latex revealing all the chipping. And then with the yellow pieces for the top. 
and the red stripes on the side of the X-Wing. Now I'm not too happy with how these turned out. They're close to, they're a little too nice and uniform looking. So I'm going to go over with a sponge that I've dipped in the body color paint AS20 and just kind of rough up the edges a little bit and that makes it look a lot more organic looking. I'm a little more pleased with how that turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and stick my yellow pieces into the uh, upper front nose cone portion here. And I'm going to slap on my torpedo pieces on the sides. And then these other little pieces that go on the front sides here. So using my photo reference, you'll see there's a gray panel here. There's a gray section back there. This portion here is gray. There's a little spot of gray up here. They're here. So I've taped off my fuselage portions where they need to have those little gray panels painted. And you can see that here and the bottom of the fuselage here and this piece here. So I've sprayed them with sky gray and I'm removing the tape here to reveal how they look. And I've put the one gray piece here into the upper front nose cone portion. And now I'm going to continue on and I'm going to put in my red stripe pieces. And then I have this front portion of the cockpit canopy that goes right in here. And then this little back portion of the canopy pops right in this back section. You'll also notice in my reference there's some panels here that are like a yellowish, kind of off yellowish color, almost a cream color. So I'm going to tape off and paint the underside of my fuselage also. And what I've done is I've taped it off here with the areas that need to be painted. And again, I'm going to use my um, Vallejo flat yellow and I'm going to put like a drop or two of dark rust in there and mix it up. So I have sprayed it now and pulling my tape away and you can see the panels painted here. Now they're a little predominant right now, but once I get to the weathering portion, it won't be as noticeable. And you'll also notice on the top back portion here, there's like a grayish, dirty brownish area around this portion. So I'm going to use my Tamiya Sky Gray with a couple drops of the dark rust as well in that. And I've taped off the section here that needs to be painted. And I've given it a shot of my paint and you can see it right here. So now that I have the fuselage main portions painted, it's time to start putting this all together. Start off by um, putting in the motor housing into the bottom rear portion of the fuselage here carefully so that my wires don't get pinched. And I'm going to take the uh, torpedo LED and put it into its little reflecting portion here up in the front so that it shines through the torpedo holes on the sides. I'm going to grab my cockpit here and using the connector that I soldered into the cockpit. Oop, turn it around the other way. Put my little connector together here and then uh, insert my cockpit 
into the lower portion of the fuselage. Then attach the upper nose portion. Then the nose cone itself. And I've got these two little pieces that attach to the side of the cockpit here. Then I've got this top portion of the rear. Then the rear cover. Then the cockpit canopy. Then I've got my little R2 head that I can stick on here. And this rear piece that goes over the fuselage. And here we have the entire fuselage assembled and the main portions painted. Obviously no weathering or anything like that at this point. But now that everything is together, it's time to hook up my power to it and make sure everything still works and I haven't pinched any wires. So turning it on, my engines are lighting up and going through their warm-up sequence here. And everything is looking good. They're into full, uh, full burning now. My cockpits work. The X-foils open and close. R2 is lit there. All the cockpit lights seem to be working including my targeting computer light. Torpedoes are operational. And last but not least, my laser LEDs seem to be firing. So everything seems to be working and in proper order. So that'll do it for this episode. And next I'll be working on the wings, laser cannons, and final weathering. Thanks for watching.